Hi everybody, I welcome you again to the Two Cocktails in Two Minutes. I am Rafael Van Kooten, the Senior Mixologist for Be Our Guest Restaurants. We're here at 675 and I'm going to give you a little bit of a spring break. Um, and by doing that, in, in a way, I'm going to give you two cocktails that really evoke the uh, essence of spring and just being on the beach somewhere. Um, but the main ingredient we're going to use is ginger beer. Um, what I'm using is Fever Tree Ginger Beer. This is a really good raw, pure, to the, to the flavor of ginger beer. Um, Fever Tree gets their ginger from the south coast of Africa, uh, and it really has a nice essence of the ginger in there. Um, so the first cocktail that I'm going to show you, uh, really easy to make. Um, I'm calling it the Stormy Cloud. Uh, it's a twist on the Dark and Stormy and a Moscow Mule. Uh, so what you're going to need for this is Stoli Vodka, or any good vodka would do. I'm using this in honor of the Moscow in the cocktail. Uh, a dark rum. This one's Ron Zacapa. It's a nice aged rum. And I have a fun garnish for you. These are edible orchids. If you can't find edible orchids, which you usually can, uh, down at your local florist, you can use just a lime wedge on the top. So all you do for this cocktail is take your vodka. There's about an ounce and a half in there. It's two ounces. You can go a little heavy. Um, and once the vodka's in there, just top it off with a ginger beer. I'll get a nice fizz going on in there. And then what you want to do after that is just take, and this is where the stormy comes from in this, a dark rum floater on the top like that. This looks like a storm cloud looming over the drink. And finish it off, your edible orchid, just in a glass like that. And there's your stormy cloud. Uh, the second cocktail, this is a Barbados Mule. Again, I'm using ginger beer here. Uh, and this is just a twist again on another mule. A mule is anything with ginger beer in it. So this one we have some simple syrup. This is fresh squeezed lime juice, pineapple juice, a light rum. I'm using Floricana, another aged rum in this. And then sticking to the traditional, the person who, the people who invented the dark and stormy are Goslings from Bermuda. I'm using their rum today. You can find these cups. I'm using a copper cup. You can find these cups. Uh, online or you can get them in like your bar stores that you have available. Uh, it really keeps the uh, drink nice and chilled. Um, and this is just a really fun julep straw that I'm using for the cocktail as well. It's just fun to sip out of. So you basically combine all of these ingredients uh, in your shaker, shake away, and then you pour it in the cup and then the last thing you want to do is just add a little bit of ginger beer just to top it off and give it a nice froth. And then there's no mint in this but I like to use a little bit of fresh mint just give it a quick slap like that, and you know, don't be, don't go light on the mint. You want really nice, copious amounts of mint in there for somebody to put their nose in. It's just an aromatic that adds to the cocktail. So there you go. There's your spring break uh, in the midst of winter. Uh, you can check out the full ingredients for these uh, on my website um, at beourguesthospitality.com underneath uh, food and drink, um, or check out the blog Rass Rebellion.